Capitol Police officers injured in the January 6th insurrection are suing former President Donald Trump and his allies over the deadly attack. In a lawsuit filed in federal court, seven officers say the former president, along with white supremacist and extremist groups, committed acts of domestic terrorism in order to retain power. The suit, which follows similar litigation by Democratic members of Congress, specifically names Roger Stone, the Oath Keepers, and the Proud Boys. The Supreme Court blocked the eviction moratorium put in place by the CDC during the pandemic on Thursday. Imposed in early August, the current moratorium was due to expire in early October. It was challenged by a group of landlords who argued that the CDC had no authority to impose those kind of restrictions on its own. Landlords claim they have been losing as much as $19 billion a month. And Congress appropriated more than $46.5 billion to help pay back rent. Congress imposed the first moratorium on evictions in March 2020 as part of the first coronavirus stimulus bill, the CARES Act. After the first moratorium expired, the CDC issued a moratorium of its own at the direction of President Donald Trump, which was extended through the end of July. Acting on a lawsuit brought by the landlords, members of the Supreme Court declined to block it in June, but blocked it on Thursday. The White House says the administration is disappointed by the Supreme Court's decision. According to the White House, President Biden is calling on cities, states, landlords, and cabinet agencies to urgently act to prevent evictions.